Good evening, everyone. How is everyone? Welcome to Scott's NBA Talk. I want to talk about tonight the Orlando Magic. Alfred Payton was back. I was so glad he was back because I seen the last like couple look like couple of games. It looked like it was more like Vooch, Nikola Vucevic, and Evan Fournier. It was too much two-man ball. With Alfred Payton back, I felt like the ball moved more tonight. And I love that. I mean, I looked at his stats tonight. And what's crazy, he led the team in rebounds. That's how bad our rebounding was tonight. And yet... I'm, I'm amazed we found a way to win. 112-99 over New York Knicks. To go 7-4, which I love. Uh, but we found a way to win. It's crazy, because uh, Payton scored 11 points, 11 assists, 6 rebounds, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. And the Magic were plus 20 when he was on the floor. And he shot 5-9 and nine from the field, 0-2 oh for 2 for 3. And one for one from the three throw line. He played 29 minutes. Now to me, Alfred Payton is one of the few pure point guards. Some people out here is like, what's a pure point guard? To me, I feel like a pure point guard is someone who passes more than they shoot. I put Alfred Payton in that category. I should make, I'll make this for another video sometime, but Alfred Payton is definitely in that category. Um, I feel like, from the looks of the last so many games, without Alfred Payton, we are lost. I mean, I'm not saying, like, offensively, you know, he's not the greatest, but he gets others involved, and I love that. And uh, I feel like. And then uh, some people are like, this This is kind of tough in a way. Do you extend Alfred Payton and Aaron Gordon? I'm going to say yes. Now, I'm not saying they should get a max contract. I have no idea what we, could, what we should pay them. I absolutely have no idea. I don't even know right now what they're making. Um, but I'm... I don't know, the way people are getting paid nowadays, I don't know if 80 million for like four years, you know, not, I mean, 20 million a year, like a four year, make 80 million. I don't know, for each of them. I don't know, maybe that's too much. What do you think Peyton and Gordon should be paid? I personally think we've got to bring back both of them next year, just because. First off, team chemistry is an issue. I feel like, you know, they have that alley connection. And I look at the match, Orlando Magic, and the team chemistry to me is incredible. And Alfred Payton is just. I have to admit, when he first came in, I wasn't quite sold on him yet. It took me a little bit. But, I mean, just looking at, like, how he ended last year, and he's kind of kept up this year. Like, I was afraid he wasn't going to do, like, what he did at the end of last year. And he did it, like, what, I think the end of the year before. And I like it. I mean, he, the man don't have to average a triple-double for me to be happy. Like, I thought he did good tonight. You know, he got a double-double. He don't even have to average a double-double. I mean, if he goes and gets 12 points, 8 assists, 5 rebounds, I'm happy from him. Because I'm not necessarily looking for him to score. Now, if he does go out and attack and score, I like that too. That's great. He wants to go drop 20, 10, and 5, or 10, whatever. That's good too. Um, especially if the other guys are having an off night. But I like the fact... I think we do have to bring back both of them. I feel like this team is getting better. Now, I don't know if it's just because the season's early. 
But I feel like I see new life in this season. I didn't see last year. I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. I did not, in my, I predicted we'd win 32 games I, because I wasn't sure. But I, from what I've seen, the first 11 games, if we could keep playing like this, if we could go six and four, and it, I think we should, we need to, of course, we need to play by each game. But like, I think we need to look at this in ten game spurts and say, okay, we need to at least go five and five or six and four at the worst in ten games. I'd like to see the magic in the playoffs. Now, granted, I'm not going to go to playoff games because I can only imagine what the tickets would cost. I don't know, are they going to be $200 for upper deck? I don't know, I'm not paying that much per game. No way. Um, but Alfred Payton has impressed me this year. I hope he gets an extension. Like, again, I don't know what he's making, so if you got info on that, I should have really checked it before I made this video, but if you have info on what he's making, share it with me. In the, in the comments. Um, how much do you think he should get paid? I, I, like I said, I don't think him and Gordon are a max contract. Like, they're, there's no, I mean, they're, I'm not saying they're not bad players. They're not bad players. But I don't think they're a max contract. I, I think with the way players are getting paid, why not 80 million, 60 to 80 million for four years? Is that too much? I, I don't really know. Um, I mean, Fournier got, what, 80... What was it? Last year or something, he got like 80 million for like five years or something, so... I don't know, or maybe 60 million for like... 50 or 60 million for like four years. You know, or three years or something. Maybe we go three-year contract, let them keep trying to prove themselves. You know, but I'm really impressed. I was so grateful to have Alfred Payton back tonight. Like this, like it, it did not look right with Jonathan Simmons as the point guard. It does not look right. It did not look right with Shelvin Mack as the point guard. Now, like DJ Augustine, it was fine. You know, it was like it wasn't. It was fine because DJ Augustine. While he's not a pass-first point guard like Peyton, he attacks. He's got some decent handles too. I, I gotta, but uh, I really made this video to talk about Alfred Payton and Aaron Gordon, both, mainly Alfred Payton. He's one of the few pure point guards. To me, he's a pure point guard, and I think. Uh, granted, I don't have no top 10 point guard in the league, but, like, if you had to put a pure point guard list right now, I mean, if you just did po pure point guard list, I think he's pretty good. Um, what are your thoughts about having Alfred Payton back tonight? Do you think we should extend him along with Aaron Gordon? How much should Alfred Payton get paid next season? These are questions I would love to, for your answer to. Do you think, I, like I said, 60 to 80 million for four years? Am I shooting too much? I mean, there's people that average, what, six points and probably getting a bunch of money, so I don't know. And Peyton's, like, probably doubling it, so why not? I'm not, no, I'm not saying we throw 200 million for five years. No, we don't give him no DeMarcus Cousins money or anything like that. I mean... Do we give him 60 to 80 million for four years? Um, thank, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching. And if you like, if you want, if you have ideas for videos, like anything on Orlando Magic, or even if you want me to talk about other players, Send me your ideas. I, I'm interested in knowing. And thank you for watching.